Dogs abandoned at a warehouse at O'Hare are in limbo. Their status unclear at this moment, but several rescues and a Chicago congressman are working to keep them in the U.S. WGN's Marcella Raymond is live with that story. Hi, Lourdes. Uh, the dogs were neglected and in bad health when they got here to the U.S. The Chicago French Bulldog Rescue took them in, gave them veterinary care, and quarantined them. Now they are healthy, and the CDC says they need to go back to Jordan. But the rescue says that could be a death sentence. It's, it is not looking great. It's, I mean, they're scheduled to, to be flown back early next week. On Monday, the CDC has ordered that 15 French Bulldogs get on a plane and take a 14 hour flight back to Jordan. We're gonna have to go and return those dogs to the very handlers that caused this abuse. It's almost too much to bear. On August 31st, Chicago police were called because 20 dogs were left at O'Hare in a warehouse after getting off a Royal Jordanian air flight. The CDC says the paperwork on the dogs was fraudulent, that it was not clear if those dogs had proper vaccinations, particularly rabies. A person who works at the airport called CPD, though. For four days, those dogs sat in cages with no food or water or medical attention. Their paws were bleeding and they had burns all over their bodies from sitting in that urine. Um, so much so that one of them, when you picked him up, he would squeal because he had burns all over his, the bottoms of his legs from sitting there. But he, hey, no, no. A few years ago, Kelly and her husband rescued two French bulldogs, Toby and Teddy. They were bruised and battered emotionally and physically, but are now doing well. Chicago Congressman Mike Quigley has talked with the CDC, Royal Jordanian Air, and the Jordanian government to resolve the situation and make sure it doesn't happen again. He's trying to find a humanitarian way to keep the animals here. I beg the CDC to find a humanitarian-based solution that also meets their health requirements. So it is not a done deal. But there's not much time. We'll lose the battle. We'll be angry. We'll be mad. But they're the ones who are going to pay. So Congressman Quigley's staff is going to be working with the CDC all weekend to try to resolve this issue. Quigley squarely puts the blame, though, on the CDC, saying that uh, it should have never left those animals in that warehouse unattended or uncared for. I'm live in Lakeview, Marcella Raymond, WGN News. Okay, Marcella, we will continue to follow that story in the meantime.